Happy freaking Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel on YouTube with me, your host and friend, Dirty Pat Walsh. I almost said your friend, Dirty Pat Walsh. But uh, I'm your friend. I'm certainly not your foe. Let's put it that way. So I just did a two hour long interview um, with a with a associate of mine up at Trent Radio uh, from that group um, I'm going to dip a little Kodiak because it's fucking Friday um, this person is doing a uh, a podcast on uh the op the opioid crisis, the opiate crisis, whatever they call it. Um, cheers, everybody! Anyhow, it's a well known it's a well known drag <laughs> that I'm a I'm a I'm an opiate patient. At my doctor. Um, and, uh, no, I shouldn't say well known. You guys know. <laughs> but, uh, a few of my friends know about my history with, with narcotics. Um, and know that I, I'm on it now and use it responsibly. <laughs> and, uh, Dilaudid is my my the drug I take, um, and I've all have pretty much always taken, um, aside from a few experiments my doctor did with fentanyl patches and long acting codeine and shit like that. Um, but anyhow, yeah. So she wanted my uh, my input on this. Um, wanted to uh hear what I had to say about my experiences uh, you know my life as a patient uh, my life as a as a someone who's been habituated to many things or addicted to many things um, you know it was pretty cool uh, I don't know I like I have uh, she told me I have like total veto rights if, if something shows up that I don't want to be said because um, it's just a conversation we had on the phone that was recorded right and uh, yeah we talked a lot about a lot of things actually we talked about like prison abolition we talked about uh, grassroots uh, organizations that help out uh, drug addicts on the street, stuff like that. Um, yeah, it was a good long conversation, and uh, I hope I hope I don't know. I just got a text from her saying I spoke about I spoke about what was on my mind really well, and so I'm um, I'm always. Uh, concerned I'm going to come off like Grandpa Simpson, you know. Um, I feel like a a doddering old, an old doddering man these days. So, um, but yeah, so it was, it was interesting and cool. And uh, apparently she's going to keep bugging me about this. That's the words that she used. It's not bugging me at all. Um, until the podcast is ready to ready to go. And that should be sometime mid March, I guess, is what she said. Um or early March, I'm not sure. So I'll keep you posted if you wanna know. Um you'll probably be able to listen to it, you know. Uh, yeah, that's been my day so far. I'm getting interviewed about about uh being a being a narcotics user 
now and then, you know. Um, interesting, interesting talk. Yeah. Um, you can't stop fidgeting with things. <laughs> um, yeah, big, big shout out to Dan Dempster in Texas, Texarkana. And, uh, I made that little video for him yesterday, showing showing off the copper cans. I I I actually think that that model of microphone. I actually only think there's two in existence. Um, Bone Daddy has his own personal model, and and he made one for me. Uh, I don't know how many others he's put out in the world, but last impression I got, we were the only two who had them. So, super rare, super rare collectible microphone people. Um, I know he's got the means to make at least one more, I think. A couple, at least a couple more, maybe. Um, I could be wrong, but uh, they're a hell of a mic. Got that A-static element in it. Um, I think, anyway. Or a telephone element. In it. They sound fucking great, man. That's what my point is. They sound amazing. Um, so yeah, big shout out to Dan for making those microphones for a lucky guy like me to play through. You know, um, I'll probably I'll probably be making more videos like that, showcasing min little minute long videos showcasing each of the different microphones he's made and sent me. Because um, why not? You <laughs> know. Um, yeah, anyhow, that's really the view from here, uh, this, this Friday, it's a beautiful day here in, in Peterborough, and, uh, not that I'm going anywhere or nothing, but it might, might be nice to sit out on the porch a little later, um, yeah, so, I hope you're all good and well, people. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of atonal fuckery I did at the beginning with my jaw harps there. I'm getting better. I learned a new technique with them. I learned how to do the the the, the inward the inward you know instead of fucking outward. I learned how to do it this way, and it's a lot clearer and a lot more true. I don't clank my teeth so much. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I learned that. But, uh, all right. I probably lost you all by now. I hope you're all good and well. Have a fantastic Friday. Have a fantastic weekend. Uh, I tend to not do a whole lot of stuff on the channel on the weekends, but I, I think I'm a little more open than usual, uh, at least tomorrow. So, wait for it. Wait for it, people. 